Today, for the first day, I was able to get my phone to have messaging and 3G data. And it wasn't with the latest R SIM card that I received over the mail. Uh, it was a replacement for what I thought, which is, I guess, broken. My other R SIM Air card, and you can see over here. Um, so if I use this one, uh, there's no more uh, mode table for it. This is the sprint version. I just insert it and wait. What do you call it? After a few minutes, it'll say no service. At which point, I can use iRose tool to enable the 2G patch. Once I enable that, it would, what do you call it? It would uh, give me voice and 2G data, but no uh, iMessage because it couldn't kind of find the phone number. So I guess I can kind of go through that. I just reset my phone. So unfortunately, this SIM solution doesn't activate your phone. You have to have a, uh, this is a Sprint phone. So you need to have a, a clean ESN to do this. Before on iOS 6.1.3, these R SIMs would get you past the activation screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is let me put in my password for my Wi-Fi. So now it's in there. You know, activate the phone through Wi-Fi, it just says it's only activated for CDMA, that's fine. Because I want to just install iRose tool right now. Let's get this. Don't have Haskell. Okay. So from here, I'll need to go to rsim5 and install iros tool I was pretty disappointed that this latest rsim air card didn't work fully rsim G okay. And go ahead and install the patch. I mean install the tool, iRose tool, install it. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, installed. Now I go ahead and continue. And so you're left with two options, Force 2G or Force 3G. Only Force 2G will work. Okay now, so it's searching. So I think you, I can go ahead and plug this in. So this is the new RSIM Air card that I have. Sometimes it requires a restart. It's kind of annoying because it's not consistent. So you can see it says no service. Maybe if I wait a few minutes, it'll work. I'm going to try Force 2G again. If it doesn't work, I'm just going to go ahead and restart. because it ends up saving me time. So these RSIM air cards, I don't know, there's 
quite different versions out there. I guess this is the, the new Sprint version. I don't, I don't know. They should kind of tell you which version you're getting. Uh, maybe it says downstairs. I'll check. I'm missing the top part, so I can't tell. Okay, turned it off. Turned it back on. So the problem here is I, I don't mind having the 2G data because that's a step forward. But the problem is not having text messaging. And that's probably because if I go into settings and I go into phone, there is no number. As you can see, after restarting the phone, I have four bars at T-Mobile. This phone is locked to Sprint. So at least that works. And now I can check to see if there's 2G data. And do that by going to general, no, Wi-Fi. Turning off Wi-Fi. And you can see I have E over here indicating there's edge network. And I'll go to somewhere simple like Google. I'm on edge, so it's going to take a while. Oh, it's probably not working because I didn't put the APN information. So if I go back to uh, cellular, cellular data, let me put in EPC, C mobile dot com. So now if I go back here and go to Google test, so I have 2G and a vo I have voice, but I don't have messaging. And Again, that's probably because I go into settings again. I go into phone. There's no way to edit my phone number, so it doesn't know where to send where the texts are coming from. Over here, under iMessage, it's just waiting for activation. So that's the issue I'm running into. I guess I could just use iMessage from my email, which is just, just as fine because a lot of people do that, but I'd rather have SMS texting available through just, you know, cellular, cellular data. So that's where I'm at.